Hello, happy people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at Tanith Lee's Hero at the Gates. It's a short story uh, that's here in my appendix and collection uh, that is pub that is edited by um, Peter. I'm sure I'm going to slaughter this guy's last name. Bur Burgle, Bur Burgle, something like that. Uh, uh, in, in any way, uh, the Peter, but Peter has uh, is, a, is a famous writer. I looked him up, and has, he's written a lot of fun stuff. And uh, to, to, but this is my first short story or novel, for that matter, uh, that I've ever read by the popular author Tanith Lay. She's published more than ninety novels and more than three hundred short stories. So she's incredibly prolific during her life. She died. Uh, she was born in forty-seven, three years before my dad, and she died in twenty fifteen about six years ago uh, at the age of 67 and she had a very prolific career this short story is in my appendix in collection this is a appendix in collection i picked up on uh, amazon.com i will link you to it below in case you're interested in following along and reading along um, but the basic idea is is that uh, here are a lot of the most influential stories uh, that founded uh, Dungeons and Dragons as name rolled uh, by Gary Gygax in his famous Appendix N, which is in the first edition of the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons uh, DM's Guide in 1979. And in it, in the Appendix N, he lists the sources of the game where he got his inspiration. And he also suggests this is a good place to go uh, to kick things off. I've actually written a I've written, I'm sorry, I've done a video for you called The Importance of Appendix M, which I will also link to you below in the comments below so you can check it out um, in case you're interested more uh, in, in following down some of the importance and the impact thereof. I also consider Gary to be one of the four most influential figures in modern fantasy, along with Robert E. Howard um, uh, and uh, Tolkien and Moorcock. So I really uh, consider him really fondly. Uh, but there you go. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at Hero at the Gate by Tan. I believe the first short story I've ever read by 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 by, by this lady, and uh, it's it's fantasy. It feels like it's a uh, sword and sandal uh, fantasy. Um, it's got I'm sorry, sword and sorcery rather. It's got light fantasy elements in it. It's really just more sword uh, and stuff that's happening. Happening. There are some fantasy elements to it. This is a proper uh, fantasy story. But if you were to tell me that this was an homage to a Conan the Barbarian or a similar style writer, I would not be surprised. It does feature a big beast, a man and demon, and that's but uh, and but no magical spells, no magical items, uh, a normal city, and that sort of thing. So our main character, our point of view character, has arrived at a city that's in the center of a desert. Uh, and he has been a uh, nomad, he's a rod, uh, and he's looking for water and shelter and curiosity. Um, and the person at the gate uh, tells him, uh, they open up the gate and bring him in, and they tell him that the city is cursed uh, by, a, by a beast who walks the streets at night, eats their, their children uh, and, and their women. And their men drinks. I'm sorry, drinks the blood of the women and eats the men uh, flesh. And uh, he needs to. He can't be destroyed. And he can't tell him about the mother because they've been cursed. Um, and so forth. Uh, and so he agrees. Uh, our point of view character agrees to help uh, help out the character. And then we find out what actually happens out after that. Uh, it's about 15 pages long in my admittedly oversized collection. Probably should be. 25 minutes for me to knock it out for the first time. I did like Tanith Lee. I think that there is some good wordsmithery that happens in this short story in a few places. Uh, some clever turns of phrases. Um, some clever writing. Um, so I would certainly be open uh, to reading uh, Tanith Lee again. Um, and considering just how you know massively published <laughs> uh, this writer is, you know, I, 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 I would be surprised to have that. I'm giving it a 7 out of, out of 10. Um, it's paced well. It's uh, it's good, good stuff. It's not over uh, description, uh, but it's not the best short story that I've ever read in a short story in a short story that's set in a decaying city in, in a desert that's cursed uh, that needs to be saved uh, by this blonde young 
uh, attractive, strong warrior. I mean, it, it's, it's, it feels a bit redundant. Uh, if this were in a pulp era, I might consider it more strongly because it's, it's fresh uh, during the pulp era. Because that's 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 kind of the you know the beginning of that sort of thing. Uh, but by that time this is published, it's been you know decades, um, and so it's, there's nothing new. There's nothing interesting. It doesn't have anything interesting to say. Uh, it doesn't have a, a new spin on an old genre. It doesn't have an unusual take. It doesn't have a, a surprise twist or anything like that. But it's fine. Uh, it's worth your time. And again, it is well written. Uh, Tanith Lee was a very strong writer in this short story. So I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 um, overall. And that's my reason why. Uh, I do like this short story a lot. Now, I am... A little confused as to why it's actually in this short story because Kenneth Lee isn't one of the authors that is name called in Appendix N by your guy Gax. Uh, like most of the other writers, you know, like Robert E. Howard, H.P. Lovecraft, uh, Lord Dunsany, they're in here, they're all name called, uh, but not uh, Kenneth Lee. So, I'm, so I'm, so I'm curious as to why. I haven't read a prelude to this collection, I just got it yesterday in the mail, well, actually, two days ago. Um, and then I read this short story. So I actually haven't read the, the 13 or 14 page uh, prologue yet. So maybe it'll be in there. He'll tell me why. Um, so, so I'll take a look at that and see. Uh, but again, there, there you are. That is Hero at the Gate by Ten Flea. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Do you agree or disagree with my take on it? Would you like to discuss it in any way, shape, or form? I would be more than happy to, to, to do that with you. Uh, whatever your opinion is, whether you think it's a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, or a 5 out of 10, or a 2 out of 10, I would be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below. If you want to talk about spoilers, I try to keep these really spoiler free, except for the first couple of pages. Uh, uh, so that's what happened here. But if you want to talk more about what actually happens in this short story, I would be happy to engage you with it with it further in the comments below. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button because there's going to be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it in watching my videos. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an awesome day.